The peplink boot-up process should normally take around 2 minutes. This is the time it takes for the status LED to turn green. Note that it can still take another couple of minutes before the Wi-Fi and cellular connections become available. If you ever have issues where your peplink device fails to boot up within this time, this video will provide you with a few troubleshooting tips. First, confirm you're using the correct power supply. You can normally find the specs by looking at the product contents list at our website or Peplix, as shown here. Second, test with another appropriate power supply that you know works with another device. If you do not have another power supply to test with, see if you can use a voltage meter to verify if the power supply is putting out enough power. Third, perform a simple factory reset. The reset button is normally represented by a circular arrow icon like this. With the power supply plugged in, take a paper clip or pin like I have here, then push and hold for about 15 seconds. If there is no change after this simple reset, try a longer reset. This time, hold the reset button for 30 seconds, then while you continue to hold in the reset, unplug the power supply for another 30 seconds. After that, you'll plug the power supply back in and continue holding the reset for another 30 seconds. Let go of the button after this and give the device a few minutes to try booting up. If all of this fails to resolve your boot up issue, take a video showing the boot up issue for at least a couple of minutes. Then send it to support at 5gstore.com or whoever your peplink reseller is, we can then escalate the issue to Peplink support to determine the next steps. We hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.